What's going on, Sumo Lings? Thank you so much for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. I am Lindsay, and today I am joined by the team over at Missing Letter Postbox. You know this team, you know Ben, you love his deals. Uh, Missing Letter Postbox is a platform that creates a community of content sharing for your target audience, giving you maximum organic reach. It is available on AppSumo right now, starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. Uh, and it's currently sitting at a pretty five tacos with 18 reviews that have already come in. So kudos to you. That's an awesome score. Um, so uh, if you uh, have not been to one of these before, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how they work. Uh, the first is that uh, if you wanna tell us a little bit about your use case, why you're interested, in the tool, you can go ahead and do that over in the chat room. The second thing though, is if you have any questions about the tool, the deal, how to get set up, go ahead and leave those questions in the Q&A box. Uh, we will circle back to the questions at the end of the walkthrough. And then the last thing is that there will be a replay of this available. So if you want to watch this again later, you can do that. All right. Hey, Ben, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing really well. It's great to be here. It feels like my second, my second home. It's great to have you back. We always love to have you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to you for the walkthrough. Uh, let me know when you're ready for questions. Cool. Very good. Well, look, thank you everyone who is here watching it live. And of course, um, you amazing people on the on the replays as well. It's really great to, to have so many people turn up. Um, so what I'm going to do is give you a bit of a demo, show you what it's all about. Um, so that you know, when you go in and, and, and set up your accounts, you're, you're as empowered as you can be to get the most out of the product. And that's really my only sort of core goal here is to make sure that you know what its purpose is um, in your sort of wider social marketing strategy um, and how you can get the most out of it. Um, now in the Q&A section at the end, I'm, I'm actually not gonna keep an eye on the chat during the demo. So um, if you do have any questions, that's fine. Keep adding them there. Um, Lindsay or I will look at that at the end and then we'll have a formal sort of Q&A bit at the end. Um, so there are gonna be some things that we will want to cover beyond the demo. Um, some common questions that have come up in the, the deal page um, already. Things like, um, how does this differ from the um, drip campaign product within Missing Letter? Um, what happens if you're an existing Missing Letter customer already? Um, and then just some sort of extra details around um, Postbox as well. So hopefully we'll, we'll get to all of those in as much depth as you guys want to go into um, at the final bit. So let me um, share my screen and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, cool. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can, looks good. Fantastic. Okay, so here we are in the post box area um, within Missing Letter. Um, now, before we go into the actual sort of, uh, sort of how it all works and, 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 and everything else, it's worth noting that, that, that post box is basically two bits. It's, it's, it's comprised of two um, uh, ways of working and two sort of real sort of goals. On the one side, um, it's, it's all about promoting your content and crucially finding a really, really meaningful and additional audience for that content. So finding the best audience for your content. And, and, and that could be a blog post. It could be a, a, a link to an Instagram page. It could be a landing page, a, an infographic. It doesn't really matter what it is. Um, Postbox is basically a tool to help you find a new audience for that content that you're trying to promote. And then on the flip side, because we've got a whole army of users that are there to, you know, who have, actually have an appetite to find this content to then share with their audience. Um, this other side is really about how can you find the best content for your audience? So it kind of flips it on its head a little bit. Um, because the reality is that how, whatever your marketing or social marketing strategy is, um, it's not really just about, it, for the most cases, of course, there are always exceptions, but it's not just about finding uh, or sharing content that is your own content with your audience actually can be quite healthy to create a more broad mix of um, topics and content that you're sharing with your social audience, just to sort of deepen that engagement, um, broaden those sort of conversations and everything else. So miss, uh, Missing Letter Postbox helps with both those parts, both getting your content in front of a wider audience um, and then helping you, you know, broaden that breadth of content from other people that you can then put in front of your um, of your own social followers. So those are the two bits that we're going to go into here. And we have this sub menu here that just sort of helps you sort of almost signpost those two core bits. So 
first of all, engage with my audience, which is the sharing other people's content with your social audience. And the other section is promote my content, which is where you're adding your own content into the Postbox library for other people to, to then share with their audience. But before you can do any of that, you'll see that it's asking me to set up my profile. Now, the profile is really just a way of you letting us know um, what the categories, the topics and the languages are that you care about, both in terms of the content that you like to create, as well as the content that you like to share with your audience. Usually they're one and the same, but, but there are, of course, as with anything, a few exceptions. So let's set that up, that up and then we can get going. So we first of all have categories. Now it's worth noting categories is really this kind of the, 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 the cornerstone of, of, of most things. And the idea here is although it's kind of a fixed list, it's one that's constantly growing. So if you find that, or ironically, you find that you can't find a category, um, just click the link here and you'll go through to our support system and you can suggest a category. As long as it makes sense, um, we'll, we'll almost certainly add it. Um, the only sort of exception there really is if it starts getting a little bit too niche, a little bit too narrow, well, that's what the tags and topics are. So a good example of that might be, um, let's say, car mechanics um, as a category, um, and then a, a more niche sort of topic might be BMW or something like that, just sort of going down to that extra granularity. One is not necessarily more or less important than the other. Um, they're just different ways of us helping you categorize um, the, the types of content that you create and like to share. So let's pop into the categories and I'm going to search for um, leadership, just as an example. It's a bit of a broad one, but just to give you an idea here. So if search for leadership, it's in the business category. And what it's telling me here is that there is currently, and this is growing literally by the day, um, there are currently 1.44 million social followers represented by that one single category. And that's an important number. Um, and you'll see these numbers are different um, as we traverse through, if I just change that, re traverse through the categories, you'll see that, of course, every category is different. I can click into one, so let's go into business, because that's, I think, what we were in before. And you'll see it broken down with, by all the subcategories. First of all, what does that mean? What is that number? Well, it's the combined social audience of all the people within Postbox that follow that particular category. And what that's telling us, and you'll see up here, we've got this potential audience um, number that obviously is zero right now because I haven't chosen my profile. Um, but that's basically telling us, once we set up our profile, the total number of, of potential people that you could get your content in front of if you, you know, if, if, if people who are following those categories actually like your content, if, if, if all of their followers, of course, are actually um, reading their news feeds at that particular time, et cetera, et cetera. Now, obviously, you're never going to hit that, that, that actual number because it depends upon far too many variables. But it gives you an idea of what that potential um, opportunity is, but also what that competition is. And what I like to ask people to think about when looking at that number is kind of think about um, the, how you might think of that audience barometer when you're setting up a, an advert within Facebook. It's kind of um, an analogous to that. So you're defining your behavior, behavior sorry, your, your demographics, uh, and a bunch of other sort of criteria within your Facebook advert sort of area. And in doing so, it will give you an idea as to that potential total audience. Now, even though it might say 200 million in Facebook, we all know it's not going to literally be sent out to 200 million. In fact, they'll, they'll, they'll estimate, you know, depending on your budget, how many you'll, you'll probably get per day. So it's much more similar to that, but it's a really, really powerful way of just seeing how that competition is and, and, and generally um, how popular a particular category is. So let's get back to this and select my leadership one. Um, and I think I'll do small business as well. Ooh, smaller business, new category, small business. Um, and you don't have to do tags and topics, but um, let's just do blogging for now. Let's select that. And then you have to choose, you'll see it says NA at the moment, non-applicable, because we haven't finished our profile. You have to choose at least one language. Um, so this is really great if you only want to share content in Italian or French or German or whatever it might be. Um, it's obviously no surprise to say that the most popular is English, um, but we are seeing massive um, drives in uh, and increases day by day on the other languages. Uh, and in fact, this has been one of the top questions um, over on the deal page, which is how well is my particular language served? Um, so you can see those numbers here. Now, obviously that's overall, not um, then when you layer in the different categories within um, those languages, um, but it gives you a sense. But I would just implore, if you're in one of the um, languages that, that isn't as popular yet, 
Hostbox has only been around about sort of four weeks now. It's been 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 around on, on AppSumo for about a week. We have grown quickly. So um, even with the smaller languages, we're, we're seeing good growth. So we'd love to have some passionate, uh, engaged early adopters in those less popular languages, so to speak. And I, I say less popular in a um, in, in, in a way that purely relates to the numbers here. But there's no judgment being passed on, on languages, of course. Um, so there we go. I've set up my um, profile, um, and you'll see that it's now computed. Um, my potential audience there, so I save that. And so my potential audience, based on my profile, is now 2.58 million. Now, as I said before, this doesn't literally mean you're going to get it in front of that many, but it does give you a good sense as to what the opportunity is. So this is kind of like a secret sort of search engine, a little bit like Google, where you can add your content, and then other people that care about the content or the topics that you have submitted your content against can actually discover it, which is really, really powerful. Um, now, on that, we don't actually set a deadline or, or an expiration date um, on the content that you add to the library. We might in the future, but right now, all evidence is showing us that this is not the right way to go. Um, and we're really looking at building this into more of a, um, a search engine sort of philosophy where it, it, it doesn't expire after a certain sort of time frame. And so what this means is that for the content that you're promoting through the library, you can add it there knowing that you're setting yourself up long into the future, that your content that can continue to be discovered and therefore shared across other people's social followers long into the future. Um, now, we probably will add options for you to self-expire, so that you might know if you're writing a piece of content and you're promoting it through here, that you know literally is uh, not timeless and that, that, that is not evergreen by that factor um, and expires maybe or becomes less relevant, let's say, in a month's time, we'll probably give you a, an option to um, disable that and turn it off um, after that point. But for everything else, they will live in there for um, eternity. So that's um, it, it's good to have it in there so that other people can discover it later on. So before we go deeper into sharing other people's content and discovering it, let's jump into promoting my content. Now that we've got our profile set up, we can actually dig into that a bit more. So I'm going to click on promote my content here. Um, I've got a couple of very, very poorly um, worded um, doodles there. So let me just <laughs> let me just get rid of those. Those are just me mucking about. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the plus button here. So I'm in the promote my content area. I'm going to click the plus button here. So this is me saying I want to add a piece of content into the library for other people to then discover. Now I can add it via this button or this button, doesn't matter. Um, and FYI, as a little um, hint, click the light bulb button here and it actually will show you based on the categories and topics that you selected, how each of those individually are broken down. And this is a really nice little way of um, seeing where that opportunity might lie. And actually we're already seeing people using this tool as a way to kind of build up that, that content creation strategy in the very first place. So even before they've created the content, so even before they've created the blog post or the infographic or the landing page, they're actually coming here and looking at where that competition lies so that they can see where that opportunity might lie. So they might see an underserved category and think, actually, let's create a blog post for that very category and then come back here and promote it. So lots of different ways that you can use that. But I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to click the plus and it's asking me a stress question straight away. So first of all, do I want to create a... Um, a a piece of content or a post to share with other people um, based on a previous campaign, a previous drip campaign. I'll talk about that in a minute. Or is it just any other content? For all intents and purposes, for this um, demo, we're going to go all or any other content. Sorry. This option here is if you have um, access to a different product within Missing Letter called Drip Campaigns. Um, but actually, even if you're only on Postbox, and I say only, it's an incredibly powerful tool, um, this will expand in the next week or two because we we will let you um we will also create suggestions for you based on blog posts that we detect in your rss feed so there's lots more to come in this area um but if you do happen to already be a missing letter customer and you have access to our drip campaigns then you can essentially just reuse social content that you've basically already created through those campaigns so it's really just a a way of um saving the clicks so that you don't have to recreate the content um, but obviously if you're coming in here for the very first time you don't have that content anyway um, to reuse. So it's going to be a matter of choosing the section, second option, any other external content. So we click that and we now go into the post box editor. So you'll see that it's just like with the profile we set up before, it's gone in here and pre-defaulted my categories and topics and languages for this individual post 
based on the profile that I've set up, just as a time-saving thing. Now, most cases you will want to use these, but there's every chance that for the individual piece of content, the blog post, the landing page, whatever it happens to be that you're sharing, you might want to add an additional topic or take one away. So for this example, I'm going to say, well, actually, this blog post that I'm sharing has nothing to do with small business. It's much more about leadership um, and blogging. Um, I'm going to keep the language as English. And you'll see, based on that, it's, it's changed the potential audience up here. So let's give it a name. Now, I'm just going to jump over here to, let's just head over to the blog. And I'm just going to, it doesn't really matter what it is, but let's just, let's just add a blog post here. We'll take the URL of a blog post. And I'm going to now give it a title. You can see it just types out there. I'm going to now compose. Now you can either enter the URL of the content that you're trying to share directly there, or we can just start writing the post that we want other people to use um, across their social channels. Um, and so I'm going to do that here. And just for, just for the sake of this, I'm going to keep it really simple and say, hey, um, a great resource for those looking to up their game. I know this is completely nondescript and doesn't really mean anything, but it would help if I could spell. So really, really simple. This is really just no different from you composing a tweet or a Facebook post. You're going to just define your text. You're going to put the URL in there. So I'm going to put that in there. And you'll see by popping it in there, it's detected the URL and it's popped it in there. So you, you can do it either one of the other ways. Um, you can add some hashtags as well. So let's say um, if this is um, tools, whatever that might mean. I'm putting, popping in tools and you'll see it's added it as a tap topic there. It's detected that hashtag. Um, remember the difference here between this hashtag and this hashtag or this tag. This is literally a hashtag. This is what will be sent out um, for those that are sharing it um, with their audiences. So you can define your own hashtags that you think are relevant. Again, be really mindful that what you're composing here is content that other people are going to be sharing for you. So don't start saying things like, I found this useful because it's not you sharing it. It's someone else. And so for one, it's, it's probably not reasonable to presuppose that they have found it useful. That's, that's not for you to say. But also, if it's something that you wrote, um, when someone else sends it out, it's going to appear as if they wrote it when actually it was you that wrote it. So try and avoid um, the first person. And in fact, when you click publish, if there is um, or if you are using first person words, we'll actually pop up a warning and let you know that it looks like you're using some first person wording. If you want to continue, just click go. But if you want to edit that and remove those, we would definitely recommend it. Um, so those hashtags, just skipping back, um, those hashtags are the ones that would go out for those that are sharing it. Whereas these ones here are more for the internal library as a way of us finding the right content for your audience. So there's nothing wrong with um, adding topics and tags here that you might never include in the actual public social post. That's perfectly fine. These are the ones that help you help us find an audience for you within Postbox. And these are the ones that are actually sent out with the social post. So this is the post. Uh, we have a few options at this stage. I can either just keep it as it is, or I can say, actually, I'm going to attach an image so I can click and add an image there. And let's, let's, um, I probably don't have a good image here at all. So let's just choose a random screenshot, whatever that is. Let's just take a screenshot of the platform, which is very exciting. Um, so we can add an image there. Um, and that's basically me now composing that post um, that other people will then share. Now you'll notice up here, it says editing for all platforms. This is basically saying that unless I do anything else, this is what will go out to each of the social platforms that we provide support. So Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, depending on, of course, which social profiles those people sharing it are actually connecting to. So let's imagine Bob over here finds this content within Postbox and they choose to share it with their audience. If Bob only um, wants to send it to their Facebook, then obviously it will only go to their Facebook. Um, but for you composing this, you don't know where that's going to be sent to yet, um, depending on who's going to be sharing it. So we need to make sure that we've, we've created a version for both Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Now, because we're in the editing for all campaigns, sorry, editing for all platforms section, this is going to go to all of those social profiles. But if you wanted to create a custom version for Facebook, or Twitter or LinkedIn for that matter, then you can select the drop down and select that here. So a good example of this would be obviously within Facebook, you can create longer form posts, whereas in Twitter, it's 280 characters. So what we're seeing a lot of our customers do to great effect actually, is have a slightly punchier version for Twitter, and then a slightly longer, more conversational one for Facebook. And so by delving into this option here, you can actually do just that. So I'm just gonna say, hey, my Facebook version, 
really inventive, I know. Um, and now when I go to Twitter, you'll see the Twitter one doesn't have that. The Facebook one, ooh, go back to Facebook, Facebook one does. So it gives you the option to do that. But if you just want to create one for everyone, you will do that from, from there. Okay, so let's assume I'm happy with that now. Um, I've entered the URL, I've set up my profile, I can click publish and oh, there we go. So <laughs> this detected, I'm writing in the first person. I'm gonna go edit my post because I've said my, there we go. I didn't even realize I was doing it. Hey, Facebook version, let's just keep it as that. Um, and there we go. So it's now publishing that. So this is just one example of, of some of the tools and techniques that we will, we already have, but we've got many more we were building to help you submit content that is designed to succeed. Um, and effectively, you can see some of the things that we've done here. We're, we're, we're adding a personal, uh, unique shortened URL so that we can track those clicks and shares for you. And we're adding it to the post box library. And just like in Facebook, when you add an advert, we're, we're entering it into learning mode, which usually lasts for about 24 hours. Um, and there'll be many more clever things that we'll be doing that, with that in the future. But effectively, it's just making sure that we've categorized it properly um, and classified it and all those sorts of things. So I can now go back to my post box dashboard. But before I carry on with the demo, I'm just going to delete that one because that is clearly a demo. And I don't actually want people to <laughs> um, find that and share it because that would be rather pointless. Um, so I'm just going to delete that. Um, and that's fine. Right. So let's now imagine that we've popped in our content there. It's now down for people to discover and share. Um, and you'll have your widgets up here that help you understand kind of the state of your post box experience. So on the one side, we've got the potential ex potential audience. We've already spoken about that. These three things here, talk, these next three things here, sorry, talk about the, um, uh, the the status of the content that you are promoting. So we have on the, going from left to right, we have total scheduled. So this is when someone is sharing your content and they basically scheduled it into their missing letter calendar, the scheduled content area here. Um, and that will be a, the largest of the three numbers. And then we have total shares, which is the total number that have actually been sent out to um, social platforms. Um, and then the total clicks is how many of those shares have actually created clicks. And that's the, you, the, 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 the sort of the, the total number of clicks that um, those have generated. The reason why we separate the total shares and the total schedules is because as people's calendars get bigger and bigger and more, or more busy and more busy, um, when someone clicks share because they want to share your content or someone else's content, we will schedule it into their calendar. But that doesn't mean it's going to go out that second. It will get added into the queue. Um, and so it could be a week or two, or in some cases, depending on how busy they are, it could be a month or two before they actually go out um, in, the, in the rare cases. Um, and so it's quite useful um, to see that number initially to at least get a sense that you've got some traction, even though something hasn't been sent out yet, I do at least have some traction there. So with that said and done, now let's look at how we can discover the content. So we're in the engage with my audience area here. Um, and you'll see that it's presenting to me some content um, based on my profile here. So um, it's highlighted three, and then it's got a list of seven other here. Now in the next, probably the next day or two, certainly by the end of this week, you'll be able to search in here. You'll be able to drill down into categories that you don't even follow. Um, we'll have pagination and all the simple stuff that should be there um, just as a better way to sort of drive into the um, suggestions. But for now we show the top 10 um, and we can send you a daily or weekly or a monthly email to give you an update on some of the new stuff that's come in. By the way, that's all done from here. So click that button here and you can choose how often you want to receive those. It's weekly by default. Um, so I'm now looking at these and I'm gonna make, you know, make a decision on which ones I want to share with my audience. But remember, why am I sharing content with my audience? And I, I, I touched on this at the beginning and it's quite simply because what, no matter what your social marketing strategy is, if you have followers, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever they might be, um, there's only so much of your own content that I suppose, A, you can share. There is a physical limit, I suppose, to how much you can share of your own content. But I would argue there's also a limit uh, of how much your audience will actually stomach. Um, they, they're following you, yes, because they care about your opinion and, and your product and they want to get updates on your business, your product, your service, whatever it is that you offer. But I would argue that they, they are also following you because they care about the industry and the category, uh, the, the topics that, that, that your business or you as an individual represent. Um, and so engaging with them with content from other people that matches and marries up with the content that you both share uh, an interest in um, is a really powerful way of just saying, hey, look, we are actually thought leaders in this space. We know um, and we care about broadening our horizons. We want to share the best content with you. Um, and this, you know, that we're looking at now, this engage area within Postbox is a really powerful way to do that.
So I'm looking at some of these recommended ones here and I have a few options. Um, let's just take, and I haven't looked at the, any of these before yet. So let's look at this one here. So um, this is the um, social post. So we see the hashtags and the link and the image that will go with it. Um, if I click this link button here, I actually get taken to the um, page itself um, and I can make a decision. So, so everyone will have their own um, criteria for how they like to um, review content that is suggested. Some people will only share content that they have explicitly read every single word of. And so they'll click that link button, they'll go to the blog post or whatever the content is that it's been linked to, and they'll make sure they read it and they'll make a decision on whether they uh, want to want to want to um, share it or not. Others will just double check that it's not a salesy page and just give a quick glance um, because they like the content, they like the the, the, the the way that the social post is written, they like the topic. All they're really doing is just double checking that it's not salesy, that it's not um, uh, spammy or anything like that. Um, so you decide what your own sort of criteria is for sharing. Um, so let's imagine now that I'm happy with that. I just want to do one last check and I'm going to click the dot, dot, dot here and click preview post. So I can see how this is going to be uh, sent out for each of the social profiles. So if you remember before, you can create different versions for Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Um, and I might, before I share it with my audience, just want to double check how's it going to look on Facebook, how's it going to look on Twitter and how's it going to look on LinkedIn? Should I share it with those platforms, of course? Now, in this case, they, they're sharing the exact same um, copy and image for each one, which that, you know is neither here nor there. It's just personal preference. Um, I'm happy with that. It feels good to me. So I'm going to click the share button now. And I have the option now, if you had more than one um, social account listed here, you would list them all here. And you can basically choose which ones you want to send it to. So even if you've linked your 10 social profiles, um, at the point at which you schedule and share someone else's content, you can decide um, which profiles you send that to. I've only got one in this example, so that's a pretty poor way of showing this, but you get the idea. You can select um, however many you want to share. Now, there's two things you can do at this stage. You can either say, this looks great. I don't you know, need to do anything else with it. I just want to schedule it. Um, and that will then click the schedule button and that will basically take whatever you've just had a look at here and add it to your scheduled content based on your own rules. I'll just have a very, very quick skim into here. So if you go into settings, dates and times, you can actually specify days of the week, blackout days that you don't want to send, um, and then specifically time slots per social profile that you connect um, that you want or you're allowing us to send content out to. So this is basically saying for this Twitter account, send no more than four a day at these specific times. You can add additional time slots. You can take away time slots. It's completely up to you how you want to do that. Um, and so when, when you click the schedule button there, that's what it's doing. It's basically, depending on the rules that you've set up for your time slots and everything else, Missing Letter will find the next available time slot uh, and then book it into your content um, calendar, your schedule calendar over here. The other option is that actually you want to edit the post before you send it out. So even though the original publisher has crafted a social post, sometimes you just want to add something yourself. You might want to credit them if they haven't done that already. You might want to add a little, a little opinion at the end of it and just say, hey, look, I actually found this really, really helpful. Um, this, this is great for this reason, or I would recommend you um, check it out for this particular purpose. Lots of different reasons why you might want to do that. You might have just found a typo and you want to just tweak it. That's perfectly fine. So click edit post, and then you go into a quick editor here, oh, which is not loading for some reason. Little note, I will check that with the team after this. But essentially, you go into the um, editor there and you can edit that content um, based on your needs. The only requirement really is that um, you have to, of course, maintain the URL that's being shared. Otherwise, you might as well be just be sharing anything else. Um, and that's the basic principle. You can share it, preview it um, and everything else. Now, the quality control in Postbox is obviously of paramount uh, importance. Um, so there's some obvious things that um, you, you can do and there's additional things that we'll of course be adding in the future. Some of those, the most obvious being um, just removing it from your list. So clicking the down thumb will, will remove that from your list. You're not downgrading anything. You're just literally saying, don't show me this again. Um, I've, I've just decided I don't wanna see this. So think of this as your task list of content that we've recommended. If you don't wanna see this again, um, I feel bad doing this to someone, but let's just do it to this one. Um, click that and it's now been removed. And even if I refresh the page or, or, or whatever, that particular post won't come back. Um, if you want to go further, we've got dot, dot, dot here and we've got a few options. So if you just don't like that website, so let's look at this one here um, and click block website. In this case, it's, it's this, this blog post that's being shared is from cybersummit.co. 
first time I've clicked on this, so I've got no idea what this is all about. Um, but let's just let's just imagine in this scenario that I just don't want anything from cybersummit.co. We can block that website and any future um, content that is um, uh, added to the library from that website, you will never see. The other option is block the publisher. So um, uh, again, the person sharing that or the publisher sharing that, um, if you don't want to see that again, or anything from them again, that's fine because they might share stuff from different websites. So that's just a way of you saying, Mr. Bob over there or Jane over there, I know that's very boring names, I know. <laughs> um, I, I just don't want to share anything from them ever. So you can click block and that's all good. The final option you have is report the post. And this is really important um, for the situations where we, our algorithms have got it wrong and, and Facebook will do the same and Twitter might do the same as well from time to time. We're no different. Um, so if you, for whatever reason, have just determined that um, for one of these reasons, this is just not an appropriate piece of content. It's either a bad match based on the criteria that you set up. So they've missed tagged it or something else. It's spammy, it's rude, or it's just too salesy. Um, feel free to let us know. And we use that in our algorithm to help serve up better content for you next time. Um, and all of that as well. So all of the stuff you would probably expect to see. Um, and that's basically the engage area. Um, a few other things to talk about, I guess. Um, we do incentivize you, but it, it is by no means a, a necessity. Um, for every five posts of other people's that you share, we'll give you an extra credit um, to add your own content to the library, um, should you need it. Um, and bonus credits um, uh, do not expire at the end of uh, the month. Whereas with your base um, postbox plan, you have a fixed number. So if you're coming through from AppSumo on one code, you, you can add 10 posts per month. That doesn't roll over. But if you have any bonus ones, they do. So you can kind of mix and match those. And yes, we will only use the bonus if we need to. So we won't, we won't be naughty and kind of use the bonus first and then kind of uh, only use the, um, the your, your normal quota after that. We'll, we'll use up your normal quota first in that monthly criteria. Um, and then we will um, use the bonus quota after that if we need to and only if we need to. Um, and just like on the promote tab, we've got a, not quite a, um, uh, a light bulb, but we've got a filter button here. So we can actually drill down and find content specifically for some of those topics that I care about in there. So I can look at blogging, I can look at all those sorts of things, um, depending on what you want to do. And that's basically it. Now, beyond Postbox, um, there are other areas that you will want to explore. So um, as we mentioned, when you start sharing other people's content, they will be scheduled into your calendar. Um, now you can, as a, just a quick sort of um, quick access area, you have a scheduled tab here, and this will show you any content that is scheduled or yet to be sent in just a list form. Um, but sometimes you'll want to see that in a sort of broader calendar view. And so we can click on scheduled content here and you'll see a list of all of the content that you have scheduled. Now, as part of the Postbox deal that we're making available here, you can actually schedule up to 50 posts um, at any given time. So that's not time sensitive, um, which means if you send 50 a day, for whatever reason, if you were to it would be bizarre and set up 50 um, time slots, which is, I suppose, possible, um, you could, in theory, send 50 every day. Um, but at any given time, if you have just one code, of course, you can share up to or schedule sorry up to 50 a day um now those 50 can be used for non-postbox purposes so we're going to touch on that i guess with the q a in a minute but just to touch on that now um outside of postbox this is a broad sort of um social management platform as well so you can just create a new post here um choose when you want to send it choose which profiles you want to send it to compose your content uh, and then add it to the calendar so you can complement your postbox content with just one off content as well. It's basically your quota to um, use up. Those 50 scheduled posts um, are yours to use up. Um, the next other thing you might wanna look at is analytics. So this will give you a breakdown. Let's give you something that looks a bit more complete. Um, so it gives you a breakdown of where your traffic is coming from based on social profiles, which your top sort of posts are, what sort of browsers they're coming from, countries, best times of day, posting, all the sort of things that you would usually expect. Um, you can find that there majority of what you're going to want to do is almost certainly going to be in the post box area this you know we're designing this product to really give you everything under one roof um uh, as, as as needed cool okay um lindsay i think that's probably brought me up to the end of the uh, demo portion so i'm happy to jump into um a bit more of a q a great let's do it sumo lings if you have any questions uh that you desperately want answered you can go ahead and leave those now i'm going to go ahead and go through the ones that we have Q&A box. Um, 
All right. Uh, this one came up right at the top, and I'm sure you've you've seen this a bit. Would you be willing to extend a deal for missing letter also? Yeah, this is a I, I this is a tough one because I, I totally get uh, the questions that have arisen um, around this. So just for those that sort of back up a, a slightly for, for, for a bit of history, I suppose. Um, and actually, funnily enough, the very first deal that we did on on AppSumo was for missing letter about four years ago. Um, so missing letter has now sort of developed into a suite of social management tools. And we have now two core products. We have our drip campaigns, which I suppose we can think of as the original missing letter. So we have drip campaigns and then we have post box, two separate products. Um, and the, obviously the offer um, that, that we're, we're, we're making available through AppSumo is for the post box product. Um, now, it is natural, of course, uh, and, and this is a decision that we had to sort of come to grips with at the beginning of this sort of whole deal, which was how do we manage the fact that there's going to be an appetite for um, for the drip campaigns area. Now, drip campaigns uh, as a product is, is basically this idea that we will create automatic 12 month campaigns for your blog posts. Um, and so we create the social, it's, it's a whole bunch of AI that creates your social media content automatically based on your um, blog posts. Um, but crucially creates it over 12 months. Now, the key difference between, on a very basic level, the key difference between Postbox and Missing Letter is that, uh, sorry, Postbox and Drip Campaigns, is that with Drip Campaigns, you're basically creating long-term automatic social campaigns, but you're actually sharing those with your own audience. Whereas with Postbox, it's a, an, a totally different way to actually promote your content to a different audience, so to other people's social followers. So they are there to serve very different purposes, but I totally get that... Um, once you're in with this, you want to see the rest. Now, the tough decision we had to make was that with Postbox, because there are two sides to it, both promoting your content, but also sharing your content, with the sharing aspect, we're going to need you to connect your social profiles. You're going to need to have a, the ability to share a certain number of scheduled posts, that, that quote I was talking about a moment ago. Um, and so what we've decided to do uh, right from the beginning was, was actually include with this deal um, kind of a complimentary free plan um, to the, the, the drip campaigns um, area as well. So um, for all of those who are interested in at least trying it out, you do actually, it's a little bit of a secret, but you do actually have um, our entry level access to that product as well. It's not the deal being made, the, the, the deal is for Postbox, but as a little sweetener, you do actually have access to the drip campaign. So you're welcome to click through here and you would have seen uh, when I expanded this before hopefully um the drip campaigns area so you're welcome to use that as you wish um you've eventually got a slightly boosted version of our free plan here so if i just show you that here so we've got for our drip campaigns we have a free plan a solo and a pro um what you're getting access to here is uh, lifetime access to postbox um, but we've given you a slightly boosted version of this free plan so you can actually create long-term campaigns and everything else um so that's one half of the answer michelle i think who asked that question um that you do already get some some level of access to it and and, and hopefully uh, for the majority that's 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 useful um there are of course others that will want to take it further and get access to some of the pro features um as well as i probably think um access to our um, agency plan as well which is again a totally separate layer of, on top of postbox and, and everything else it's a a product um, in itself. So I unfortunately, I don't think we're, we're going to bring back the drip campaigns product as an, a lifetime deal, simply because we've done two of those before through AppSumo. Um, we've had in the last, when was the last one we did? I think it was probably a year and a half ago. We have so many people asking us um, whether we're ever going to bring it back. And because the drip campaigns product is such a mature product now, we're, we're just not going to do that anymore. And, and we've told everyone in the past who that, that have come to us that that's just not going to um, unfortunately be, be something that we, we'd be able to do anymore. Um, but I do recognize that by bringing people in to our new Postbox product, there's obviously going to be a renewed appetite for that. So I know I'm waffling, but all I can tell you is I'm thinking about it really, really carefully. And although I don't think we're going to offer a lifetime deal for that again, I am thinking about how we can bring that and perhaps the agency and 
other aspects of the suite available to those that, that want it. Um, so keep an eye on our Facebook group if you're not already a part of it, um, the AppSumo page, of course, um, and our email list if you happen to have signed up and taken hold of a deal. Um, I will make sure that we share those options available to you. Bottom line is we will provide options for you that will be absolutely exclusive to AppSumo customers um, and will be a steal of a deal. Um, but it's just to, to manage expectations, it almost certainly won't be a lifetime deal. Just as I say, we're sort of four years in with Missing Meta, the, 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 the drip campaigns product. That was a long you've, answer, wasn't it, Lindsay? But, but I think it's a really important You've thing. already spoiled us so much. We appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you. Um, and, and Michelle says thank you too and, and for thinking about the options and for already everything you're already providing. This is great. I'm, I'm not upset. All right. Uh, my friend Eric has a bunch of questions here. What other social media networks will you be offering in the future? Uh, Eric's in the music industry. Are there any networks for the music industry that you're planning on adding? Interesting. Um, so networks for our industry. So I'm, I'm guessing social media networks, you, you mean the, the, the Facebook, the Twitter, and correct me, Eric, if I'm wrong, but Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, so we work um, today with Twitter, LinkedIn, both personal feeds and company, Facebook, both pages and groups. We technically have the code ready to go for Instagram and Pinterest, but in both of those cases, annoyingly, we have this sort of bureaucratic red tape that um, really just means that it's completely out of our control. We have to be approved into their partner program yeah. before any of this will be accepted. And so we're ready to go um, and we're hopeful, of course, but we just can't provide any sort of sort of assurances or guarantees around that. But we are continuing to try. But I'm just a little bit um, confused about the fact that you're saying industry specific social networks. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that unless I'm so um, out of the picture and not trendy anymore that there are music based social networks and I'm just not aware of them. But yeah, make, feel free to let us know, Eric, if I've sort of misinterpreted that question there. It would not surprise me if there are. There's a whole <laughs> world every day, I'm sure. on the internet. He says, yes, there are. I'm sure. Yeah, a new one every day, I'm sure. Uh, is there a limit on how many social Eric, profiles you can- On support. Sorry, yeah. sorry Lindsay, for the button again. Um, Reach out to us, uh, Eric, because um, the, the, there is no strategic, let me just make it clear, there's no strategic reason why we are not entering certain markets uh, with regards to social networks. So uh, there's only technical reasons why we might not. Um, so reach out to me, let me know what they are, and if it's possible, we'll, we'll certainly add support. Cool. No, thank you. Um, is there a limit on how many social profiles you can add to an account? Um, so... Theoretically, no, um, but yes, based on the um, number of codes that you've stacked. So um, if it's one code, I believe you can add two social profiles. Um, and with each code that you stack, you literally just add an extra two. So two codes for um, social profiles and so on and so forth. Um, you can theoretically add um, as many of those as you want. Although I think with the particular um, uh, AppSumo deal, I think there's a maximum of 10 codes. Okay. Um, can you share on a personal LinkedIn page? Um, yes. The only thing you can't do, and this is just in the industry wide with LinkedIn, um, they stopped about a year and a half ago, two years perhaps, um, the ability to share into groups. So we can't do groups, but we can do personal feeds and we can do um, company pages. When your users, uh, or can your users schedule when posts go out? Yes and no. So bottom line, yes. Categorically, uh, when you add, when you share something, um, you can alter that date, you can move it around if you want to. The default is that we will automatically schedule it based on the rules that you've set up. So um, just quickly diving into here, the thing I showed you before, go into settings, dates and times. So you can say, don't schedule anything for Tuesday. Don't schedule anything uh, on, on a Thursday. And then you can set up your time slots here. Based on those rules, we will um, find the next available slot, basically. But once something's been booked in, you can always, I know this is an empty calendar, but you can basically drag it around to another date. So you can change the time. So after it's been scheduled, you can do that. I think what's probably going to happen in the next week or two is we will add um, additional rules specific to Postbox that let you say um, how, what sort of rules you want to um, uh, dictate the scheduling as well. So it's just beyond what I've shown. So no more than two in a week. Um, no more than X amount, you know, just, I think we'll add a few extra sort of layers to that. Cool. Uh, can users target specific authors to share content? Um, in terms of, I'm guessing this is, you have content that you want to promote and you want to put it in front of specific people. No, mm -hmm. but this actually touches on the, the real genesis behind um, Postbox uh, when the first when the idea was first sort of came up with and the vision for it uh, and that is it's not just about 
helping you find the best audience for your content. But it's, it's as much about finding the right influencer, which is I think what you're touching on for that audience as well. And so, uh, and actually there's a whole conversation going on about this in our private Facebook group, which if you, if, you know, if you have a chance to join, I'd love to see you over there. Um, and it, it's a great one. Now, obviously we're taking that one a little bit more slowly because there's a privacy sort of aspect there. So um, obviously there would have to be um, a buy-in from both sides of the party. Um, but yes, that is something that we almost certainly will evolve into this idea that you can actually see who's sharing, you can communicate with them because if they happen to be an influencer in your niche, now if you're in a super niche niche, like a niche niche niche, um, and you've got just 100 people in the world, like you wanna know that one person that, that, that has access to 50 other people, that's like 50% of the market. And if you can actually communicate with them through Postbox, um, maybe do a little promotion with them, like that, that, that's down to you. Um, so yes, there will be soon the ability to communicate, have private messages with them and you know, set up um, relationships with those influencers. Um, so that's on its way. Great. And Robin wants to know, where are the people, uh, where's the audience coming from that's wanting to share this content? Who, uh, who is sharing the content? Um, if it's not just like a random person coming to your blog and seeing it organically, where does this audience come from? So um, there's two audiences. There's the audience within Postbox, the people that are able to discover the content that you've added to the library. Um, and then there are their, or the people who are sharing it, it their, their social followers themselves. So let me break that down. So if I'm in my Postbox area, let's go into Postbox, I'm now browsing the library um, and I find content that I want to share. I can share it in the way I've shown just uh, earlier on. When I share that, that then gets sent out to my social followers. So there's two layers there. I think the, the question here is who cares to share? Um, well, I think it's pretty much what I touched on before, which is people who really just want to broaden their um, relationship and their engagement with their social audience. They want to grow their social yeah. audience Yes, but they also want to deliver value. They want to broaden that sort of relationship by sharing industry specific content. Um, so yeah, we have a bunch of people um, doing that. Um, and and yes, you will find, and you may be one of those people that you, there will of course be people who only want to promote their content and they just never want to share. And that's fine. This is not a platform that forces you to share content. It's all about getting the right content in front of the right people. Um, and, and our job as a platform is to help that sort of happen that sort of gelling up happen um but the majority are, are really keen to find great content to, to to as i say deepen that um engagement isn't it also like beneficial to share other people's content because you don't have to make it yourself like yeah. <laughs> and you can still like keep your social posts up and you could be sharing other people's stuff and not not having to make it all i mean Maybe that's just me, but that's that was my thinking. I agree, and, 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 and I think you will always find different schools of thought. Um, but yeah, yeah I think um, being too sort of protectionist, I suppose, against what goes out, I think will only get you so far, in my opinion. And I think it's just as much yeah. about delivering that value and show being seen to be the purveyor of value. Someone that, hey, this 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 company over here, they, they share really great content. And, and it means that totally. in my experience, when you do share your own content or God forbid, a promotion to a deal that you're running like at Black Friday or something else, because it's not just one of 200 that is all from you and all sort of me, 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 um, it, it resonates, it stands out and they go, damn, this company have been sharing some really great content. I trust what they share. Um, and now they're sharing this deal that is now, okay, it's salesy. Um, it's it's trying to get me to purchase something, but actually I trust these people in a way that I didn't before. So I, th I do believe there's a real deep sort of strategy behind this um, that, that is worth exploring if you haven't already um, experimented in these spaces. Definitely. Eric says, we know who used Cliff Notes in school. And to that, I say, I use Spark Notes, Eric. Um, <laughs> not Cliff Notes. <laughs> um, Eric also asks, can users share recurring posts? Um, no, is the short answer. I was just trying to think of the use case there. So you're, I think what you're asking there, Eric, is can they see this and say, hey, I'd like to share this every week. Um, I'm not quite sure whether that would be the right thing for the platform, but Eric, why don't you, I'd love to have a conversation with you. Why don't you pop us a message on the support channel? By the way, for anyone who's in here and accessing this little help center here, just click that, get our, our knowledge base, but also click the contact button and you can go into our support system file a ticket. If we're online, we'll reply straight away. If we're not, we'll reply within a few hours. Um, but yeah, Eric, 
let me know. I'd love to understand a bit more about that. We actually have some questions about your support team. Uh, where are y'all based? How large is your team? And what time zone does your support team follow? Cool. So we are UK based. Um, we're a team of three, actually. Um, for anyone that sort of followed me um, with, with another product, Hey Summit, much larger team. Um, we are self-funded over at um, uh, Missing Netter. So we're a bit of a smaller team. We're all remote, but we're all based in the UK. Um, and yeah, so you expect UK times in terms of support. Um, but for anyone who's filed a ticket over on support, I think uh, I'd like to hope that you would attest to um, getting pretty prompt replies. Um, but yeah, that's generally the, the, the sort of the, the, the backup, I suppose. Um, can you show us the like content categories that people have to choose yeah. from? Sure. Oh, by the way, if you're on the fence um, or you just don't care to sign up in order to access this, uh, and this is a great tip um, or, or request, I should say, from someone um, on a comment in the on the Postbox deal page, sorry, on the AppSumo deal page, um, asking for, is there somewhere we can actually just browse the categories in the way that you're asking? So yes, if you go to our Postbox page, so missingletter.com slash Postbox, this is the public landing page. Um, scroll down here and you'll see this little box here and we can search the same, this is live. Um, so we can see the main categories there. We can click into the subcategories. You can also search as well. So finance, for example, and it's found two there. One in books. Lots telling, of categories. Telling you what the <laughs> social audiences within that um, within that niche. So yeah, that's that. But you can also do it from here. So if you're in in here, you can click on the profile down here or in there, and you can just do a search from here. You don't have to add something. You can just sort of browse through and see what's going on. So hope that helps. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Um, can people register who only want to use the software for content curation and not to share their own content? Yeah. Oh, that's great. I want more of you, please. Um, <laughs> every now and again, I think, I don't know what the ratio is actually, but um, for every few, there are people who want to just share or promote, but not share other people's. Um, yes, I, you don't have to be one or the other. I, and I think for someone who wants to come in here and just straight out share other people's content and not promote their own, absolutely. Um, yes. I love it. I was thinking about doing that too. I'm with that person. Uh, Sumolings, if you have any more questions that you would like to submit to us, uh, you can go ahead and do that in the Q&A box now. Um, the only question that I have for you uh, currently is what uh, what's on the roadmap? What do Sumolings have to look forward to? I know this question always comes up. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, cool. Okay. So Touch on a few things actually. One of them is is um, that sort of influencer piece and helping you um, find out who those key sort of influencers are in your niche, whether it's broad or, or, or literally a niche. Um, and so that's coming down the line as well. Um, there's going to be a lot of work going on in this whole sort of content discovery area, ways to sort of free form search as well as drill down into sort of other categories. Analytics is going to be a big piece as well. Um, and there'll be other tools and other sort of um, automation tools to help you get more out of it. So I think I mentioned one before where you can plug in your RSS feed or will be able to soon. Um, and if we detect a new piece of content, we'll actually create a single piece of social content for you over here in the promote area that we won't obviously publish without your say so, but we'll, we'll pre-create it for you and send you a link to it through an email. And so it's basically give you a head start. So lots of things like that. Now, um, we actually don't have, we did have for a while, but actually with Missing Letter, for anyone who's... Um, been a customer of ours or just followed what we've done we've done a lot in the last sort of six months and, and certainly the last six months um and so we we iterate pretty quickly um but i we, we've actually pulled our we do have a roadmap and i'll just show you it's not quite a roadmap actually it's more of a um, feedback forum so this is where you know we collect people's sort of more sort of formal thoughts and people can vote and we do refer to this but quite frankly where we're seeing the most value and the most conversation is in our Facebook group. And I'm finding that as being a much more direct way to, first of all, find out what those pressing issues are and what those sort of in-demand um, features are. Um, but just a really quick way for, for other people on the other side, our customers and users to actually discover what we're working on and keep up to date with everything else and just be part of that wider conversation. So, um, uh, yeah, if you care about what we're working on next, head over to our Facebook group. Um, I'd love to see you over there. I love it. 
Uh, and that's all we have for today. So thank you so much, Ben, for walking us through all of this. It's great to have you back again on AppSumo. Sumolings, if you have not already, you can go redeem your codes for missing letter post box right now on AppSumo. Uh, it's starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. And of course, this is backed by AppSumo's 60-day guarantee. So you can go ahead and get set up, play around with it, see how it works for you. We do love to read your reviews on the deal page. So go ahead, please leave those there. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, so far, this has been doing great with the reviews. So we love to see those coming in. Uh, and of course, uh, if you have any more questions, you can leave those on the deal page yeah, as thanks. well. Thank thanks, you guys. again, we've, Ben. We've got some reviews, but we need more always. It really just helps other people discover. So um, if you're on the fence, if you have any sort of feedback, if it's negative, let us know. So we have a chance to actually address it first. But uh, honest opinions uh, and reviews are absolutely welcome and really help other people discover. So please do um, add a review if you have a few spare, spare moments. But thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank thanks you. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.